Hi, this is Jess. And this is Rachel. Welcome to the EP 401IT Help Desk. Hi, this is Jess from the EPCUSD 401 Help Desk. And this is the screencast to go along with Blogger, the second part about controlling access and setting permissions. So I'm going to go to that practice blog that I created. And what I'm going to do is I am going to control access to my blog. The way I do that is I go into settings and basic. I'm going to scroll down to permissions. Here you can see I am the blog author. I'm the administrator, which means I can add or remove other administrators, authors, change the blog settings. I can delete posts and add posts. Here I can click on add authors. And what I would be able to do here is add students from a class if I wanted to or other teachers that I want to be able to contribute to the post. The difference is as authors they can only add and edit their own posts. They cannot delete other students posts or edit other students posts. So that's a great option if you're doing this as a group sort of blog. The other thing you're going to want to look at then is controlling who sees your blog. So right now ours is public which means anyone can see it. Um, if you click edit here's your options public, which it is now, private, only the blog author, so everyone that you added to be able to collaborate on it would be the only people allowed to see it, or private, only reader. So if you want to be the only one doing the blog, but you want your class to be able to see it, then you would individually invite them here by either typing in their email addresses or choosing from a contact list and saving the changes. There are people that might want to follow your blog, and the way you would set up notifications for that is through a gadget. The way we're going to do that is we're going to go into layout and we're going to have to add a gadget. We'll decide where. Here, cross column, sidebar, footer. I'm going to put it in the sidebar. And I'm going to look for one that's called follow by email. So every time something goes up, it's going to send an email to the people that sign up for these. Save. And there it is. There are so many interesting gadgets you can you can add to your blog. Just take a chance to go through and see these featuring posts. Um, you can have page headers. So there's a lot of things, labels that would be very, very useful to your website, depending on what it was being used for. Last but not least, if you want to get updates from Blogger, which I suggest doing because they don't change as often. It's not one of the most popular features of Google. But when they do change, it's usually something big. So if you want to receive updates about that, on your main My Blogs page, you would click on the Options cog and go to Edit User Settings. So here where it says Email Notifications, you, collect on, you, collect, you click on Feature Announcements, and then anything that is in regards to blogger format changing or anything like that, you will receive an email about it so that you're aware. Hopefully this was helpful. Please check out our website at tinyurl.com, ep401tech, for more information as well as our training videos. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel at epcusd401helpdesk for all of our training videos.